Hi, my name is Jason from shishainthe.uk.co.uk and hookapro.com bringing you an instructional video. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing how to set up a shisha or a hookah pipe start to finish. How to pack an Egyptian bowl, put the tobacco in, set it all up and get smoking. Right, join me in a second. To start off with, the things you will need, your stem, you need your vase or your base. I've actually got a base protector on mine, you don't have to have it, it's a good idea if you're having it on a hard floor. Your bowl, and for all intents and purposes for this review, I've actually got um, what's actually called an Egyptian bowl, which is just this layout. But um, I will show you um, later on um, in different videos how to um, pack different bowls. But today I'm just using an Egyptian bowl, your different shishas. Um, and again, I'm actually trying out a different mix today, even that's a bit of taboo um, so among some people in the hookah community. Um, but I'm actually, I've actually got um, Nakala Zagul and Alfaka Mint for this flavour. And um, don't forget your foil. I've actually got pre-cut foil here because this stuff is very thick and very good and it's safe for messing about. You can use normal foil as long as it's um, good quality. Some people do double layer it but I just used to like to use a single layer only if it's good quality though. You have to have good quality foil. You need your tongs. These are my favourite tongs I'm going to use these but you normally get these with a set and you've got one of these on the end. Um, as I say you do need also need a foil poker um, I actually use this which I got free um, with a large order but as I say you can use the end of this for your foil poker or you can use um, a toothpick or something like that again I'm going to be using this right you also need those you need your coals I'll be using these you can use um, these type of coals I'll actually be using what's called coconut coals which are all natural coals, which I find a lot better. But you can use coals that are like this, which are what you call quick lights. They come in disc shape like this. Um, and you also need one of these. Now these actually can be quite hard to get in the UK, um, but this is actually what you call a coil burner. Uh, it runs on electric, so you can put your coals on it um, if you're using, again, natural coals. If you are just using what you call instant lights, what you need, you need a gas hob or you need um, kind of like a torch burner what you do just light your hob like that and just keep it above it and keep it going until it's completely grey or red all the way around now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with turning your coal burner on but I've actually pre-done this turn your coal burner on make sure it's nice and hot put your coals on as many as you need I tend to use three and with a cut of spare and you don't have to do that but I like to have a cut of spare um, but these can smell, so what I like to do, I like to keep it well ventilated, or you can do it outside, or and make sure you turn your extractor fan on as well if you've got one, as it does not keep the smell um, nicely down. Right, what you do, while that's happening, um, make sure you start packing your tobacco. Right, because I'm actually mixing my tobacco, you don't have to do this, some people like to mix it in the bowl, some people like to do it separately, but what I'm doing is I'm using a ramekin, uh, because I'm actually pre-mixing. If you're not going to mix, obviously don't bother doing this, just put it straight into the bowl. But I've actually got some Zagul in there and some um, Alfaka mint. I'm giving it a good mix, like this. Now, there are, you can get a lot of stems in some. Um, actually, that's not a stem. But um, you can get sort of quite a few thick stems in some. Some people pick them out, some don't. But just for this review, well, sorry, for this uh, instructional video I'm not going to except from that one because that is huge that's the type of thing you don't really want you just want the leaves really right when you're packing your bowl you want um, what, what I use I tend to fluff what's called fluff pack 
um, you should make it nice and fluffy, make sure there's a bit of air in between. Unless you're um, packing a brand called Tangiers or things like that, uh, but I am packing Alphaca, so I'm going to make it just pretty much a normal pack. But I will put other, um, up, other instructional videos up when they come. But what you want to do, you want to sprinkle it in like this. Zoom in. Yeah. Just sprinkle it into the bowl. Make sure you get a good amount in there. But with this type of flavour and with this shit type of shisha, you want it only slightly touching the foil. If you were packing a brand called Starbuzz or anything like that, you want it just away from the foil. So I've got just enough amount in. And I always make a mess here. Can't help that because I'm that messy. Right. What you need, so I think I went out of camera there. What you need to do, you need to make sure it's relatively even, just slightly over the top of the bowl like that. Now, get your foil. Put it over the top of that, like that, make sure it's nice and tight, as minimum amount of creases in the top as possible. Now, different people have very specific patterns for uh, their holes, putting their holes in, but I just like to do quite a few holes, um, but as little as possible, you know, li you know little sized holes. So I'll just go around like this. And zoom in. Just say when you do this, make sure your foil is kept nice and tight, it doesn't dip in. Okay, and what I'll be doing with this one, I'm going to be putting actually ice in my um, vase or my base. You don't have to, but I like doing that. It can take a little bit of the flavour away, but I like a cooler smoke. So I haven't forgotten a couple of other things you need. You need your grommets, like this. Um, there's also a grommet that you need that goes on there. Now. What you need to do, this is where your hose goes, obviously you need your hose. You grom it in there, and you grom it on there. Now get your base plate, or your ashtray, whatever you want to call it, which comes with your stem. Now I've actually filled up the your vase, or, or your base, with water up to a certain level that I know that comes right. But what you need, is you need to fill it up to when the water comes about the thumb's width, about an inch or whatever, above the end. Now, you can get this, what's called a diffuser, which goes on the end, like that, and it can make it a quieter and smoother smoke. But today, I won't be using that. What you wanna do, get a bit of water, after you filled that up, wet that so it goes in there like that, Put that in, and there you go. Slight, well, I've actually got some ice in there. But it, when that melts, it'll come slightly above a thumb's width. Over. Now, let me get your ash plate there. Your bowl. Make sure that's on. Well, actually, I'm going to need a different size grommet for that. So you can get those grommets come in all different shapes and sizes. Bowl, put that on like that. Make sure it's nice and snug, make sure you've got no air going through it. One thing I will say is make sure you've thoroughly cleaned your unit before you've actually done this, before you've set it up and whatnot, because it can happen what's called ghosting, which is basically previous flavours can come through, and you don't want that because it can be really rank sometimes, and you can have old shisha in there, it'll just be very unpleasant. Okay, what you need now is you need to get your hose, you connect it there, get your coals, 
after they've been thoroughly cooked. Like that. Put them on top. you want to make sure they're in a formation where they're just on the edge. Well, that's how I have it anyway. Some people probably say it's a different way, but that's how I have it. Now the first few pulls uh, might be a bit harsh, might be a bit stale. It could be just the old air in there. What you want to do, make short-ish tokes to start off with, and then that obviously gets the bowl heated up. It would take, probably take a few minutes for the bowl to actually heat up, then you start getting your proper smoke through. I've actually got three, what's called three coals on there, but to be honest with you, you don't always need three. It does depend on, uh, the, on the type of tobacco, um, because some need more um, heat to come through, some need less. And if it starts getting a bit burning at the back of your throat, start, sometimes if you get a quite a harsh tingle, take a coal off. Cut the blows through to clear the air out. And some people may notice I do that before each tote, only a tiny little blow. That helps keep the bowl heated. That's a tip I've actually got from my Egyptian friends. Um, do that, and it also clears the stale air out of your hose. Do that for a little bit, it takes about normally about sometimes between 5 and 12 minutes to get a bowl heated up. I'll be back in a second. Now, I've actually added what's called a wind cover on the top, it is basically what happens, it just contains it all and it's quite useful when you're outside, hence wind cover, to stop the wind blowing the coals off and whatnot. But if you've got parties, it's actually very, very good to stop the coals from falling off. Um, if say someone knocks it when they've added a few too many. Um, which has happened quite a few times in my house as you may see some burn marks on the floor, I'm not going to mention names. Now, um, but just be careful because when you put this on, it can make the bowl warm up a lot quicker than it would do normally, but be very careful because it can get a lot hotter like that and it can burn. Right, I'll show you some clouds. And that's how you smoke shisha. Just make sure you don't hog all the, ho the hose to yourself um, if you're in a group, um, because that can be bleeding annoying. And keep, just keep passing around. Don't take too long over the hose. And it can be quite a nice sociable thing. So, my name's Jason from shishainthuk.co.uk and hookapro.com. Give us a thumbs up. Put some comments below. If you've got any questions, I'd be glad to answer them. Um, have, keep um, viewing for all the different videos that I'm going to make for instructional uh, purposes. I'm going to show you how to pack different bulbs, show you how to pack some tangiers, which can be a very, very hard tobacco to pack. I'll show you how to pack a vortex bowl a, uh, and a funnel bowl as well. I don't think there are any others. No. Um, so thank you very much.